Hey y'all, good morning. I have a lot of work to get done in the garden this week from moving the pond and the rocks that surround it to getting some Encore Azaleas planted and many other things planted. I'm probably going to take all week to get it done because I'm also working on some painting inside and I'm also digging uh, the French drain so we can replace the siding on the house and stop some of the drainage. You can't tell, but my house is on a, um, on our, our land is sloped down to the lake and we've got to get the French drain in because that's kind of making a mess when rainwater washes up under our house and messes with our foundation, which we've had repaired twice now. But anyway, so You'll see me wearing a bunch of different outfits throughout this video because it's going to take me so long to get everything done because I do it in my spare time when I get home from work or on the weekends. So let's get started on these yard chores. We have a lot of buttercup wildflowers that Tommy is about to mow down. <laughs> He's over there. I leave them as long as I can so that the bees and the butterflies can enjoy them while they last. Alrighty, well part of my spring cleaning is going to be cleaning out the goldfish pond and moving it. I last cleaned it out in the fall and it's murky again and the fountain's barely working so we need to get all this cleaned and get the fish happy again. It's gonna take me probably three hours to do and I'm not gonna record all that. You've seen me clean it before. I'll show you the after. I got it moved. It's been several days. You can see that the fish are, you can actually see them again. Never even finished filling it back up. But I did get it moved and now I have all of the rocks to get moved. And these probably don't show up on camera well, but those are some pretty big rocks. At least 50 pounds each, if not more. So this might take me all day, we'll see. But I'm gonna get them moved over to there. got three of the big rocks moved and several of the little rocks over here to the side that'll be placed on top later but I'm giving up for the day you know what I'm old and I'm tired and I need Tommy's help to move some of these bigger rocks so I'm gonna move on to a different project garlic water real good. I 
I bought some mulch till it start laying right here. But I think I need about three more bags. <laughs> I think I severely underestimated how much mulch is going to be needed for right here. I don't mind the wildflowers like right there. See those? But the rest of the weeds, the grass, I just don't want it here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the uh, one bag I got down here and decide how many more bags I need for here. All right, so that was one bag, which was two cubic feet. And that's a decently thick layer of mulch. I think if I get two more bags for a total of six cubic feet, that it'll, it'll do what I'm wanting it to do. And I think y'all will agree, even though it's shady right here, that that looks a whole lot better the mulch side versus the not mulch side. So we're gonna move on with this project on another day, but it's a start. I have finally convinced Tommy that this citrus tree needs to go. Citrus is grown on a graft, it's grafted. And this one froze, this is not part of it. This one had froze below the graft and it came back but that's been two years and what citrus it will eventually grow is not going to be something that we're going to want to eat most likely might only be good for like cleaning products oh look at that it's a caterpillar of some sort but anyway um so oh there's lots of these caterpillars <laughs> look like little piles of poop on there but they're not so anyway this is coming down today and we're gonna get this cleaned up Yes, I'm a mess, but I've been out here working in the yard, and this channel's not fake. But anyway, citrus used to grow well here in Texas, but for the last couple of years, we've had these abnormal freezes, and, and it cycles, um, you know, every 10 years or so, depending on La Nina or El Nino or whatever weather pattern that we're in, but this one and that one over there just didn't make it no matter what I did to cover them they they didn't come back so we're gonna not grow citrus for a while or not try to grow citrus for a while until we get out of this weather pattern because when they're when you're trying to start a new citrus and then you get a freeze it's just it's just not gonna happen so I hate to say goodbye to them but they're just taking up space that we need for other things so they're going here in this corner I'm going to be planting straight eight cucumber so it's going to be growing it can grow along this fence and along this fence here and up this little makeshift trellis and over here I am planting oops Boston pickling cucumber See how dirty my hands are? Anyway, let's get this in the ground. I needed to take a break from the rocks for a while. So I'm adding some organic hummus and manure to my beds and getting them ready for some of my seedlings to go in. Need to thin out some of those radishes too. All right, well, these are the Havasu peppers that I had started. You see the roots are starting to come through the bottom. I'm not gonna wait any longer. I think we're past any chances oop, of our last frost date. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted in here.
Shifty has been digging through that bed for quite a while now. I think that's why I don't have some of the pest problems that other people have because I just let them do whatever they want. And then when I need them to stay out of it, I cover it with something like this. So I'm gonna water the Havasu peppers now and let's and we'll see which one of these little seedlings survives. So I did get that hibiscus planted the other day along the sidewalk and I still have these Encore azaleas to get in the ground. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get those in the ground and I won't have to water them as much because in these containers they dry out in a day. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant those next. The thing to remember with azaleas is that you plant, you dig your hole about as deep as the pot and twice as big as the pot. So I've got my hole wide enough and deep enough. Now they say with azaleas to plant them high and they won't die because they do not like wet feet. So this is above ground level and when all these air pockets come out, it is going to sink a little bit. So I think I've got it good and I'm going to get this into the ground. Kind of loosen up the roots. I just watered this today and this thing is it just feels dry. You can see it's root bound. It's probably why they were selling it for seven dollars. This is nothing but roots. If I had a knife out here, I would cut down like this, but I'm just using my finger. Kind of fool it into make it realize that it's no longer in that tight little pot. Yeah. Let's get some soil around it. Alrighty, well I got that planted. I'm gonna let that sprinkler go for a little while and I'm gonna take a break and then I'll come back and get the other Encore Azalea planted into the ground. Hopefully I left enough space between the sidewalk and the Azalea, but if not, I'll trim it back when it tries to overgrow the path. I have made some progress on the French drain that we're digging, but let me tell you, that's some hard work. I can finally see the end in sight. I can finally see the end in sight, but I'm really only halfway done digging. And the, uh,
support beam there for the house. Can't, can you see it? It's not even sitting on the bricks really. The bricks have kind of collapsed. So we're gonna have to jack up this corner of the house and get some bricks back underneath it. But it's a start, but it takes away from my gardening. So I did finally get the other azalea planted. Don't have any mulch around it, but it is planted. Over here, I have a volunteer pumpkin. I know because I threw a pumpkin here sometime last year, probably October, November, and it has decided to grow. And we're gonna let it grow. It has taken me a few days to make this video and the straight eight cucumber is already coming up. And in a couple of days, I will decide which one of these seedlings I'm going to keep. And over here, the Boston, Boston pickling cucumber has also come up right there and is coming up right there. So that's gonna be it for this video. I think I did get a lot done, even though I didn't accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish. I will do another video next week, kind of a video, to, kind of a garden tour to show you what survived the winter. I'm gonna be planting some okra and some tomatoes and some flowers. So the next few weeks are gonna be very, very busy. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this video, if nothing else, motivated you to get up and start gardening. Um, thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.